Hey guys, welcome to Chess Beauty 56. At the end of 55, we left you with this strange looking position. This is from Bridgewater, 1936, and the stipulation is white to mate in six moves. So take a stab at it, and then uh, I'll come back. Okay, hopefully you've had a chance to look at this and try to solve it. This was not very difficult. I thought I'd throw in an, an easier problem after uh, the uh, Zeppler of the other day, <laughs> which confused many, many people. And uh, so anyway, this one is uh, a problem that's cited as an example of humor in chess, and specifically through the medium of the caterpillar theme. One of the things I like to do in this series is to explore some of the various themes that the problemists like to refer to. And uh, I, when I came across the caterpillar theme, I hadn't heard of it, so I investigated it. And uh, there are many examples of this theme, but uh, this is probably one of the best. It's, it's kind of a joke chess problem, so perhaps you didn't have too much difficulty in solving it. You might have been tempted to try bishop to e4, but unfortunately, Although as this wins, it mates in 7 via b2, bishop takes b7 check, king takes b7, a queen check, king to c7, rook to a7 check, king to d6, queen to d8, king to e6, rook to e7, king to f6, queen to d6. Okay, that's a, uh, not so bad, but it uh, doesn't meet the stipulation. So, of course, this... Uh, Tower of Pawns should have been a tip-off as to what's going on here. I, I, I admit I have a weakness for these kind of Rube Goldberg problems where the chessboard becomes uh, some sort of uh, mechanical machine in a way. And uh, this is one of them. So the s solution is a somewhat surprising bishop to b1. And this bishop actually performs two functions in this puzzle. It prevents a pawn from reaching b1 and queening, and it'll actually swoop back and deliver checkmate uh, when the time comes. The rook, his only function is to uh, pin, excuse me, to protect the pawn and keep black bottled up. So I'm sure you probably all saw this. So the solution is b2, the only move black has. Rook to a2, that's the only safe square for the rook, b3, and now you're beginning to see the pattern, of course, b4, rook moves, b5, rook moves, and now the last pawn moves, b6, and that leads to bishop to e4, back to its starting square, <laughs> to deliver checkmate. So, now, apparently there's there was a whole tourney of uh, endgame studies and problems that uh, it, was, it was a part of humor and chess tourney. I'm trying to get more of the uh, entries from that tournament. I've written to Tim Crabb, uh, who knows something about it, and hopefully we'll uh, have more of these uh, joke problems from time to time. But to return to more serious pastures, in the next Chess Beauty, we're going to give you this position to examine. Okay, and this is white to draw and you can see that's not going to be easy uh, already the black pawn is on its way to queening and out of the reach of the king and, and white excuse me black has an extra bishop so uh, but the position is a draw so good luck with it and we'll see you on the next chess beauty thanks for watching